Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. We've got a makeup basket for the month of June, a little bit later in the month, but I still think it's worth putting this video up. I do want to change some things up for this month. Let's first talk about the stuff I used up, uh, some stuff that I decluttered, what I'm going to be moving back into my collection and what I'm keeping, and then we'll go into my drawers and pick out new stuff to use in June. So I did use up the hashtag this is everything lip loving balm. It's just a lip balm that I really like. I have another one to replace it and I really like it. It's done. I also used up this Becca primer here. This is the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector and I did cut it open and use a bunch. There is a tiny bit left in the corner there but it's all dried out and I can't use it. It won't blend into my face, it won't blend into my skin very well so I'm counting this as done. I also decluttered the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter. I did press a little bit of it in this ColourPop packaging so I have a little bit of it left. It's very very shiny, very blinding and in your face. You can probably see just from my finger but this is not for every day, not for me at least, but it is really pretty, so I'm going to put it back in my collection and focus on some other ones. And speaking of highlight, I did pull out all of the products from this highlighter from Wet n Wild. It was in the shade Blossom Glow. I took what was left of it and I put it in this Too Faced bronzer packaging. So I only have a little bit left. I am going to hold on to it and hopefully finish it pretty soon. I think that's everything I used up. Now let's look at what I'm putting back. I am going to put back this little quad here. One of the shadows I was working on in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project and I did hit pan on it and I'm still working on hot pants so I'm going to put this back and maybe put together another little Z palette to work on this month. I'm also putting back this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I did use it a couple more times and this is just really really yellow on me so I'm going to have to figure out a way to mix it with something or maybe use it just as an eyeshadow primer. I'm not sure but I'm going to put this back and work on some other concealers in my collection. I'm also going to put back this Hourglass Loose Powder. I want to focus on another one that I recently purchased but I do use this one pretty often and I like it. I'm going to put back these two blushes here. I have the Cover FX Soft Peach Blush. This is in the shade Soft Peach. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. And then also Seychelles from Buxom. I'm going to put these two back and focus on some other ones in my project pan that I started recently. I have a highlighter. This is from ABH. It's from one of their quads and I did put it in an empty ColourPop compact. I did like it. I want to keep it, but I'm not going to reach for it this month. I want to focus on some other highlighters. As for Stila Sea Siren, this is one of their glitter and glows. I don't have a lot left, but I did not reach for this once. I don't know. I need to like motivate myself to finish this. I just don't know why. I really love this color. I don't know why I don't reach for it more, but I'm going to put it back and figure out another strategy later. I was trying to hit pan on one of the shades from the Smashbox Vlada palette. I did successfully hit pan, so I'm going to put this back for now. Everything else in here I'm going to keep. So let's go into my drawers and pull out what I'm going to use in June. Okay, I think from this first drawer I only want to pull out one palette and it's one that I recently purchased. I had a Nordstrom gift card and I decided to purchase the Natural Nudes from Too Faced. This does look really pretty in the pan and the couple of times that I've reached for it I've really liked it. I know some people have complaints about the quality of the shimmers and I don't find that I have a lot of issues with them. Maybe this one here, Glistening Stone, is a little bit chunky but I find that most of the light duochrome shades that I have like this perform that way so I think it's just like how the color is. Um, I know the shade Crown from Colored Grains Queen of Hearts palette is the very same way. The formula is like very similar so I think it might just be difficult to formulate that type of shade. Everything else works really nice for me so far but I would like to play with it a little bit more this month. Um, it's kind of right up my alley right now. I'm loving having these matte shades with all these different undertones. In my next eyeshadow drawer, I do have a couple things I want to pull out. I do want to pull out my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm trying to use this as much as I can right now so I can realistically pan the entire palette next year. And I do have one of the shades in here currently in my Pan Those Eyeshadows Quintet. I'm also trying to hit pan on one of the shades from the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette, but I decided to actually remove it from the palette and put it in a... A Z palette that I have. It's this one right here, bare minimum, because I have dug my nail not once, not twice, but three times in this shade here, Mr. Sandman. You can see it's like destroyed and I don't want to risk doing that anymore. So instead of um, pulling for this palette every single time, I'm just going to focus on that one single in a Z palette later. Now for my third drawer, it is also eyeshadows. It's mostly singles and other extra bits. 
I do have that Z palette that I was talking about. I put together some shades that I think will go well with the current quintet that I'm working on. Lots of purples and pinks and blues, a couple greens just to change it up. But this is the Z palette that I'm going to play with this month. And I think that's everything I'm pulling from this drawer. Now let's move on to blushes and bronzers. I decided to pull them all out and make them lay flat, but now it's a little bit overcrowded, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to restructure this later on. I do know that I want to pull out this Charlotte Tilbury blush. I'm currently trying to use this an additional 25 times in a current project pan, so I'm going to pull this one out. It's a really pretty bright pink. I'm also trying to use up this bronzer from Pure Cosmetics. It's the Glow Together bronzer. I'm actually not going to open it because I don't want to give you any spoilers. I have an update coming in one week. And I also want to pull out Hourglass because I am also trying to use this an additional 25 times in my current project pan. So I'm going to pull this one out too, but I'll most likely focus on the Charlotte Tilbury one first. And that's everything for bronzers and blushes. Now let's move on to highlighters. So there is one highlighter in here that I want to pull out just because I realize it's my least used highlighter and I just have not used it enough and I've had it for a while so there's no excuse. Every time I swatch it I justify keeping it but I would like to reach for it a little bit more. It's from Pure. It's the Afterglow highlighter. This is really pretty and it definitely has one of those subtle glows. It doesn't look like anything interesting in the pan but then when you put it on your cheeks or on your skin it does look really nice so I'd like to focus on this. And of course I want to pull out Mary Luminizer because I'm trying to pan it and I'm trying to finish it this year. My second to last drawer is all of my face and complexion products. There are quite a few things I would like to pull. First I'd like to pull the Too Faced Loose Face Powder. I would like to use this a couple more times and get a better idea of whether or not it's something I would recommend. I also want to pull out this Cover Effects Concealer. This is in the shade G Light 2. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to get my camera to freaking focus. I'm sorry if some of my shots have been out of focus. I don't know what's going on with my camera right now. Maybe the lighting's too bright, I'm not sure, but I wanna pull out this Cover FX Concealer. It's one of my favorites, and it's one of the few that are matching me right now, so I'm going to pull this one out. I also wanna pull out this sunscreen. This is from Super Goop, and it's the Unseen Sunscreen probably getting washed out quite a bit in this lighting. I just have a little mini travel size of this and I recently finished my Crave Beauty sunscreen and I would like to finish this in time to do a how long does it take to use up SPF video that'll come up uh, probably the first day of summer in the US which I think is uh, June 19th or 20th, I'm not sure. So I'd like to finish this in time to include it in that video so I'd like to work on it this month. Everything else I think I can just keep in here. I might reach for the Sexy Mama powder back there for touch-ups later on but I'm not going to pull that out specifically. And the last drawer is lips which uh, if you watch my Shop My Stash videos you guys know I don't typically pull a lot of products from my lip drawer but I do have some that I specifically want to use a couple times to see if they're worth keeping so that's what we're going to focus on this time. So I have the Bitch Perfect lipstick that I'm working on in a project pan. I'm also trying to use the Jordana Sweet Matte Lip Cream in the shade Creme Brulee in a project pan too. I want to use this a certain number of times before I roll another one in. But I also want to pull out this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Stone. This is kind of like a cult favorite back in the day on YouTube. And I noticed that I will choose Perla from Stila over this any day. And I realized I haven't used this in quite a long time. So I'm going to try to pull it out, use it a couple times, and see if it's something that I think is worth keeping. Is it unique enough in my collection? Do I like the color on me, etc.? And I'll let you know in my next makeup basket if I decide to keep it. I think I'll focus on those three lip products in my makeup basket this month. And let's go back and show what everything looks like in my makeup drawer. So this is my makeup drawer for the month of June. I have a couple new things to play with. This sunscreen, um, the Too Faced eyeshadow palette and the powder. I have some products that I haven't used in a while and I'm going to test them out and see if they're worth keeping. This Pure highlighter and this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. I have some project pan items, some pan those eyeshadows items, and in general I feel really good about the mix of stuff I have to work with this month. Let me know if there's anything exciting you're going to be using in the month of June, maybe a summer favorite that you're bringing back out. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.